And then I started looking at the landscape of underwater sports since the 1900s and Olympic sports and the nature of Olympic sports. And I was like, dude, this fits with Olympic sport in nature. Underwater hockey and underwater rugby were started in 1940 or 1950. They haven't, still haven't popped to the surface. Our goal since we started is to make it a spectator sport, show it, that way we can get it to the Olympics and we could blast it everywhere. Man, that's incredible. We train close to 10,000 people since we started. We haven't had anybody with serious injury or hospitalized or anything like that. Like we work with the Red Cross, we work with all these different agencies to where now when we go into a pool, do we have 70 pools on our insurance? This whole time we've had people moving out from the East Coast because they saw what we were doing online and they literally show up to a session and they have nowhere to live. That's big. And then people at the pool are having breakthroughs. There's people that are going from holding their breath for 15 seconds to doing it for a minute, to two minutes, to three minutes, to four minutes 